All right, I'm confident most of you are watching these videos with the intent to build something, to make something, to learn something a little bit more grand than what we've seen so far. And I thoroughly appreciate those aspirations, man. All I can say is you got to crawl before you ball. Uh, which is to say baby steps. we got to do this piece at a time. So we've got some basic understandings of putting things in the command line and seeing what comes out. Got some peeks into the mathematics. What we're going to do next is an important step towards building bigger systems, and that's putting things in memory. We're going to talk about variable assignment, how you can store pieces of information uh, using variable names. A little bit of abstraction, a little bit of an opportunity to set some groundwork for getting on to bigger and better things. So if you're ready, let's get to it. So, uh, variable assignment we'll remember from algebra in high school or something, set x equal to 5. We can take a look at x, x returns 5. And then we can use x in place of 5 in a variety of other types of operations. Uh, we can do anything with it that we could do with that number 5. Nothing too wild there. All right, while we're dealing with just numerical variables here, there's something I want to sneak in real quick. It's an operator I didn't show you last week, and trust me, there's more than one of those. Uh, but this particular one is something we can do with numbers that we can use on variables. We can't use them num on the numbers themselves. I'll show you why in just a second. So uh, let's run it. We'll do x plus equal all right, doesn't return anything, but let's look at x. x is now 6, so that's an increment variable. So we have just incremented x by 1 or increased it. But as we can clearly see here, you cannot get the same thing. Uh, you won't just increment by 1 automatically. You have to specify the value. So if we try uh, to do that, we're going to run into an error every time. Those of you who have backgrounds in other programming languages may be used to having an operator where you can increment a variable or decrement it by one that's not available in Python automatically. You've got to specify that value by which to increment or which to decrement. So if we take a look, I put x at a solid dozen. It is a way to save some space in code, and Python conventions often encourage you to have uh, relatively short lines, no more than 80 characters, to make the programs readable. So uh, that's one tiny workaround in some cases. Also useful when you're iterating through things in loops or in order, which we'll visit later on. Now, admittedly, x is not a terribly imaginative variable name. However, uh, we are by no means limited to things like that. Uh, we can actually do all sorts of stuff in terms of naming variables. And there's things you ought to do, and there's things you oughtn't do in, uh, in naming your variables. And we'll talk much more about convention and uh, variable names which are readable and safe later on. But just be aware that uh, you've got nearly open reign uh, in, in creating your variable names, and you would be well served in most cases to make them something intelligible. So uh, you can also, just so you're aware, use those variables in conjunction with other variables to display things. So that'll give us 25, 13 plus 12, nothing too terribly wild. And you're by no means limited to so you're holding just just number values inside of variables. So instead, we could store in red a string of characters. Uh, like this, and when we look at red then, it'll give us that string of characters back. So those are some very, very basic elements in variable assignment, something to play around with and look at. You're going to need to have that in your holster when we go to try bigger, more ambitious, aggressive, exciting things. But for today, that's enough. Again, my name is Ed, working for my bring back here in lovely Lincoln, Nebraska. Appreciate you spending some time with us to watch these videos. Keep coming back. We'll give you more, man.